Well, howdy, y'all. My name is Jeff, and I'm going to talk to y'all tonight about my decision to get dentures. Now, y'all don't see my teeth real well. Let's do this. And that pretty much illustrates what you probably uh, need to know about why I would choose to go to all the pain and suffering of going ahead and getting 16, 17 teeth pulled out of my head and a couple of exquisite torture devices known as dentures slapped into my head. So how did I get to this place? Well, like a lot of y'all, I'm a hard-working fellow who has always had dental insurance and had never quite been able to afford the difference between what my good dental insurance covered and the cost of things like caps and crowns and bridges and things of that nature. It seems from what I've been reading in my research that the amount that dentists get out of insurance has been declining as a percentage of that insurance for mm, 30, 40 years. Meanwhile, the cost of actually doing dental work going right on up there, boys. Right on up there. There's only one way to make that work. That's to raise the rate of your dental insurance. What else? Raise the rate of your co payment. problem is that most of us, when the man comes around at a place of employment and says, folks, it's open enrollment time again, do you want dental insurance? We're kind of like the guy who bought the muffler. Well, I'm not going to pay a lot for this dental insurance. You don't like dentists very much anyhow. They put their fingers in our mouths. They put pokey things in our mouths. Then they show up with x-rays and they tell you, son, you got four cavities this year, this time. Four of them. Which one do you want us to drill th first? So, we sit there and think, um, not gonna, a 
a lot for this dental insurance. And the dental insurance company, they just said, okay. So we won't charge you a lot for this dental insurance. And so the guy, man comes around and he said, it's open enrollment time. And you look at the uh, dental plan and you say, hmm, $18 for me and about $8 or so to cover my, each one of my dependents. Twenty-five, thirty-five, forty dollars ain't too bad. I can do that. Oh, and look, the cleanings come free. You get two free dental visits a year. You get two or three fillings a year. That ain't too bad. Except you don't go get your fillings. If they don't hurt, you don't fill them. You don't go get your cleanings. You work too hard. You work too long. So, one day your tooth does hurt and you go in there and the man says, Son, hate to tell you this, but you got a tooth that needs a root canal and a crown. Hmm, really? Man. Okay, what's that gonna cost me? Well, you got good dental insurance. <sighs> That's good to hear. So, what's it gonna cost me? Son, the dental insurance pays two thirds of your dental of your cost for that root canal. All you got to do is come up with thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred dollars, Mister. I didn't pay thirteen hundred dollars for the car I drove here in. The only other thing you can do is pull that tooth. And I don't want you to do that, because if I pull too many teeth, you're going to need dentures. Well, this tooth hurts. And I ain't got $1,300. And I can't wait till I have $1,300 for you to make this tooth stop hurting. So yank her on out of there and I'll worry about dentures later. So they yank that tooth out and now you're not chewing with that tooth anymore because it ain't there to chew with no more. Or you chew with teeth that ain't necessarily made for chewing. And you wear them down, and someday you go go in there with another sore tooth, and they say, "You got another crown you need." And you're like, "I ain't got the thirteen hundred. Oh, it's fifteen hundred now." But I didn't have the thirteen hundred. Where am I going to come up with fifteen hundred? Yank the tooth. After a while, if you're me. You got no back teeth to speak of, and you're chewing with your front teeth. They ain't made to chew with. You should be glad. Light in here sucks. You can't see just quite how bad they really are, but take my word for it. I've done worn down my front teeth. Wore them down real good. And they hurt now when I drink a cup of coffee. I haven't drunk coffee in 
six months. There's a story behind that, but we won't go there just now. It hurts when I drink anything hot. Hot chocolate. Hurts. Or cold. Ice cream. Hurts. Yep. A pickle hurts my teeth. Don't even go nowhere near an apple. Not a refrigerated apple for sure. I was trying to eat fried chicken the other day. At a filthy Kentucky Fried Chicken. Somebody needs to talk to the manager of the guy over at downtown Alton. Sunday night, they let the restaurant get into an appalling shape, but that that's another story, too. But anyhow, I didn't get the crispy. I got the original Kentucky Fried Chicken. And the okra. And about the only thing that didn't hurt in my teeth were the green beans and the mashed taters. The soda pop hurt my teeth. The chicken hurt my teeth. The okra hurt my teeth. So, that's how I got to here. So, in low yonder, maybe three weeks from now or four, I'm going to go in. And the first thing they're going to do is they're going to extract the teeth I have. I've been watching YouTube videos and I've been reading online and learning exactly what the process entails and I can tell you it's quite an ordeal. They shove goop in your mouth and they take an impression of your mouth with the remaining teeth in your mouth. They shove a bunch of goop in your mouth. And they let it sit there till it turns hard and they yank that stuff out and they may do it a couple of times together until they've decided they've got just the right impression for what they need to do. And then they make a mold out of that. Then they set the date. And you come in and they give you shots and whatever else they give you. And they pull the teeth. And they shove a bunch of cotton in your mouth. So far, it's like any other extraction you've ever heard of. And you go away for a couple hours, or maybe you sit in the dentist's office and bleed for an hour or two. And then when you've got most of the bleeding done for the day, they bring you back in and they set you down in the dental chair and they shove a set of immediate dentures into your mouth. And you go home with those immediate dentures. Well, over the next... Uh, two or three videos, I hope to talk about what I mean by immediate dentures and the other kinds of options that people have. But I'm already at 14, 14.5, 14 14.8 seconds in this video. So I'll bring it to an end here and I'll see you in part two of this video.